So, Leo, I'm noticing now that all you need is an instigator. You need somebody to start the party, and then you are... I mean, you just took a swig of Jameson, you mm-hmm. had an open Coors, and you just packed us in. <laughs> it's time to party, Danny boy, you know? We're all... Uh, life is finite, buddy. Yeah, yeah, it you is Monday, too. I forgot. <laughs> I like the midweek. I like the beginning of the Mid- week. Midweek. <laughs> How generous you're being. I'm not... This is okay. Well, this... The beginning of the week party, when you're, I think that drinking should be done when you're not expecting to drink. You know what I mean? When you go out and you're like with your boys, you're like, yeah, let's get hammered tonight. It often ends up. I think up you not said that being, to me on Friday. Well, yeah, you know, you you never drink. We we need to drink more often. But I think it's just like it's it. it the magic happens when you don't expect it. So like right now, I'm gonna have a few drinks with my. Uh, oh, what my magic Irish is buddy. gonna happen? You're gonna bump into Swolby in the hallway downstairs. Hey, Swolby, how are you? You're you gonna like, fucking you hate me, or do you like me today? You know, you're uh, gonna wait at the curb for an Uber driver from <laughs> Kazakhstan. I'll walk home. He's gonna show up, <laughs> and then you are going to DM a soccer player. Yeah, you know who you should DM. You should DM Caitlin Clark. The, I'll do it right now. <laughs> She's a star women's college basketball player. She's, and I, she keeps popping up in all of my shorts, all of my YouTube reels. So I thought I'd be very surprised if Leo hadn't DM'd her already. I haven't, but I'm giving her a follow and I will. Let me see. Let's go with. Uh, is she hot? Hey. She's, She's pretty attractive. Six feet tall. She just is so good at uh, basketball for the, in the, you know, for the women's women's basketball, which is usually, you know, dire times getting fans to the, to the, you know, to go see that. But she's so good that her, sh- there were it's more like watching views. cricket. It's that shitty. So, <laughs> so you find athletic ability attractive? Yes. Or just fame. Uh, you know what I mean? What type fame of, too. What type of sport? Uh, uh, Volleyball mostly. I think all of it. Like if a chick is an incredible ultimate Frisbee player, I'm on board. Oh, really? See, Frisbee. Maybe not. That, that was a stretch. Bombington. Yeah. Bombington. That's pretty hot. Frisbee. What's Bamington? You don't know. She knew it was like tennis. It, he can't yeah. say it like we say. What it, but the fuck? It's badminton. You know what I mean? A, a badminton? Yeah, badminton. badminton. Say it how you said it. Badminton. Wow. See, I say it more like him. I, you know, I, yeah. I, I, I imagine European, Austin, uh, yeah, pull up sure. hot badminton girls. I'm pretty sure, actually, that there's some smoking hot yeah. ones. I'll tell you why. It's the same idea. They jump. The jumping is what creates mm-hmm. that volleyball ass that these girls have. And it's just like, see, Frisbee whoo. just doesn't do that. Maybe they, a lot of Asians like it. When we raided the badminton game at USC, it was mm. like all Asian chicks. Yeah, a couple of them are okay. Maybe there mm. was a really hot girl in my sophomore year PE class in high school, and I just remember her in booty shorts, bent over, playing badminton. And I was like in love with this girl in my PE class. And maybe that's why I will fro- forever get a boner when I see a racket with a long yeah, neck. That's not bad. Yeah, I like Asians, too, so I'd go for it. Really? But, Coddle, I mean, can't we all agree that any woman who is successful at anything is more attractive than... I would sleep with Hillary Clinton. I would... Yeah. Oh, I've I've dreamed of Oprah asking me to, like, you know, eat her pussy in, like, uh, some dark office. Oh, really? Yeah. I'd like a housewife, you know. Yeah. You want a housewife? You, yep. You're looking for the one? I Well, yes. You've okay. got the one. Uh-huh. You've got housewife. the one. He's got, a, yeah. he's got a girlfriend, Leo. Yeah. Really? How long? Uh, a couple... A while. A hot a while. Minute. Well, you're got, jumping I've around the drunk. topic a little bit over there, Kyle. I don't talk about it on the you're, internet. You're jumping around like I've a got, drunken leprechaun I've over got there. someone. I've got someone, yeah, but I don't talk about it on the internet. Okay, well, that's fair. Do you, do you talk about your relationship? I know no, you, I don't. No, we don't. It's, you, it's a terrible idea. No, yes, it's, a fucking it's a horrific nightmare. idea. It's it a terrible a idea. And then the groupies on the road, you know, you I, know what do you do with them? Yeah, what do you do? Yeah, you can. You gotta, you gotta, basically, you gotta let everybody think you're single, and then you can cheat with the groupies on the road. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm joking. Yeah. Never. It's the way to do it. No. But I, I think that's underrated. Like, the stereotype is that men will date the hostess at Red Robin, and women will only date a guy if he's, you know, a, a, a fucking influencer or a professional athlete. But a girl who does something, fucking anything, well is such a breath of fresh air. Maybe it's because we live in L.A. where hardly any girl does anything. Yeah, they're mostly just hot. And then yeah. uh, people just give them money. Basically. That's how that works. Sounds yeah. like most relationships. Yeah, but the girls in Ireland, there's no way that they're... When's, oh, do you live in Ireland now? Yeah, I live in Ireland. How Born are the women raised. in Ireland? I always go for English girls. Really? Yeah. Why is it? They're more, they're more it's fun. Like, it's like a guilty pleasure. Gotcha. Do you know the way they used to, like their ancestors used to kill the Irish? Mm. Well, some sort of like working I watched Braveheart. I watched Braveheart. It's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, pretty close. They're Scottish. So for oh, me, it's bad. like recolonizing. Yeah. Gotcha. Take back what's ours. That's you know, nice. You took our country. 
we're going to take your women. And is it the accent help you as much with the English as it would? I think it, in America, your accent would go a long way, my friend. Yeah, no, it helps in England. It does Who, help in England, to be fair. Is there, because I feel like England, they had these, the empire, the sun never set on. Is there a hierarchy where the English, women included, view themselves as better than the Irish? No. Really? No, I don't think so. Maybe. But I don't they kind of make fun of you guys a little bit? Mm. Well, they didn't They didn't colonize the whole country, so they can't make fun of us that much. They couldn't they get the north? The what happened? They well, they've got the north, but not the south. Oh, I, I didn't know. I yeah. don't know much about Irish history. Yeah. So Do you call really the fa- northern Irish uh, people pussies? I, I am from the north of Ireland. Oh, my bad. But yeah. So did you just call me a pussy? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll for that, though. <laughs> dilly dilly. Which city are you from? Belfast. Con- Belfast mm. is, that is like the center of the urban unrest in Northern Ireland, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's the fucking hot spot. Tell us a little bit about what's gone over, gone on there historically. Well, I was born in 1997, so it pretty much came to an end when I was about, but their Catholics, Protestants, used to shoot each other, used to kill each other, and then there was a treaty that says, no more shooting and killing each other, so instead we just jump each other, mm-hmm. uh, more so after school. You know, mm-hmm. you see, oh, there's a Protestant, he's coming on to the Catholic side, let's get him. How can That's you tell a, a man is Protestant? Because they were, like, we are Catholics, so we wore Catholic school uniforms. Gotcha. And they were Protestants, so they wore different track uniforms. suits. Mm. You know what's crazy? I, uh, there was, there's some theory in sociology that says that groups that are pretty close to each other, but not exactly the same thing, they tend to hate each other more than groups that are completely different. Like, an example is in musical subgenres like new metal people were hated by traditional metal heads like people who like metallica hate people who like glimp biscuit mm-hmm. it's crazy to me that the protestants were willing to kill the fucking catholics when they both think jesus is awesome they both believe in the same god one just has more saints and they get drunk in the church mm-hmm. yeah it's pretty much like we worship mother mary and they don't no, let's start a war about it. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> start fucking car yeah. bombing each other. Yeah, well, pretty much. That is, ex- you've just essentially told the whole entire. I've had an Irish car there. bomb before. The drink is quite good. Is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's quite good. We just call it a Jaeger. And Jaeger. like, and also Americans, we hate like the political right hates the political left more than they hate warlords in Africa who are enslaving children. It's weird how that, that works. The closer you are and the more similar you are, the more you amplify tiny differences. Yeah, Argentina hates Chile, dude. That's a known thing. You know what I mean? Well, I hate Argentina, and I hate Italy. <laughs> well, that's, And I hate you. But that's weird. I'm both those things. So why would you, you really... Maybe we should just fight it out. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is about having an Irish man here, but it's like something about... Who would win in a fight between Leo and Don? I would knock him out in one He does jujitsu. He wouldn't catch yeah. me. I won the boxing match we had. We had a boxing match, but I outweigh him by 70 pounds. So it kind of 80 or 90 now. It's not less. You asshole. You know I've been losing weight. Uh, I outweigh him by too much. So How I, much I beat is him. the man bun weigh? What's up? The man bun's like, three, at least two to three pounds, I'd say. Seriously? It's, yeah. What's that? Four skin's getting close to one. It's a lot, dude. One you solid pound. Are you, not, are you not circumcised? Not. Are Me you? Either. No. Let's fucking go. Yeah, see, this guy gets pussy, dude. Man, you're circumcised, right? Damn it, yes. dude. <laughs> dude. These guys get pissed. Go back guys, to yeah. your home country. Yeah, we're him on the boat. We got Bill three Ball. uncircumcised <laughs> cocks coming at you, Danny boy. Just jump him. He wants to see, dude. He loves uncircumcised <laughs> cocks. If you want to show really? your cock, dude, he yeah. really wants to see it. It's <laughs> That's yeah. not true. He would love to see it. On the ratio of cock sucking you've done, how many have been circumcised? Okay, I refuse to answer <laughs> that question because of the premise. <laughs> he loves an uncircumcised yeah. he, It's just he hasn't seen it. It's not his own. You really are going to circumcise your kid? That'd be so stupid. Don't do that. I have not thought about my child's penis yet. That's not true i've actually thought too much about my child's penis. <laughs> and you you hope it's big no i've thought about like getting with a chick who's got big cocks in her family so my mm. son has a big cock oh really yeah how, how do you go about that dinner table is like right before we eat here slap it on the table well <laughs> my ex it's a, it's a long story but we might have confirmed that both her brother and her dad have giant dicks well, bro, how know. did you confirm that <laughs> I don't want to say on camera. It's fucked up, but it's true. And like, I would be lying if I said that wasn't a factor. Okay, so you go into a new relationship. How are you fine night? Do we have big cock genes? Oh, here? I have my ways. He just, it, 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 the cock comes up in conversation with Danny Mullen, dude. Yeah. It's just, it's a thing. Thanksgiving, like, after I say grace, I'm getting right down to business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Pops. Hey, come over here, Pop. <laughs> Let's cross swords. I, and I go That's up weird. a couple generations because I got to know that it's not going to skip or something. So I, I'll, I'll walk up to grandpa, just fucking 
you know, just cup his balls. What happens if it's too small? Do you just leave? Yep. Walk Sorry, out. like your dad's cock's too small. I'm out of here. Yeah. Don't even say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, just Irish goodbye. Irish, Irish goodbye. goodbye. I do the Irish goodbye at parties all the time, man. Is that a thing? Like you guys do? Can you guys do the Irish goodbye if you're Irish? It's just goodbye. It's just a goodbye. It's kind of more insulting if you say goodbye. It's like it, it cancels out. It's like a fraction. It's just, it's yeah, just it's a like, goodbye. It's like the Irish car bomb. We yeah. just call it water. It's just, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Is that real? That you, is that a thing in Ireland that you don't say goodbye when you leave a party? No. Yeah, it's a thing. We all just, everybody just walks out at three a.m. and nobody speaks to each other. Because yeah, Leo sometimes will just disappear from a bar, and I'll, I'll assume. I, I mean, I we the assume Irish. the worst. I do the Irish goodbye often. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's my thing. I like it. I'm like, I feel like Batman. Just <laughs> go out. It's just you know? if you if Leo has done the Irish goodbye, like if you notice at around twelve forty five a.m. that Leo's gone. You know that there's a woman somewhere who's not safe, <laughs> or who's not enjoying, or herself. very safe. She's enjoying herself <laughs> yeah. because she likes pleasuring me. Or, or yeah. oh, is that what she likes? <laughs> yeah, she likes. I thought for me. a second he was about to say she likes pleasure, uh -uh. but then he realized he's like, "Fuck, I couldn't, I can't she's, say that." She's got an oral fixation, and okay. she's with me. Yeah, she's. Yeah, give him another. Beer. Give him a little Jamie. Is it, little Jamie I think Austin thing. should have some Jamie too. Oh yeah, yeah. Because I want Austin gonna... nice and lit up for when Lenoji gets. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't absolutely. know if I want to drink that, Jameson. I will. Why? It's good. It's it's not it's not up to par for you irish no i'll burn this I, whiskey and me just don't go down jameson down. jameson so wait what do you what do you what's your hard alcohol of choice um i actually love vodka my ben um has been making me drink tequila to make sure that i'm happy drunk instead of burning stuff down and going off the rails which jameson the whiskey does do. that to you huh yeah i will go give it to austin, Austin, yeah. Austin, you, you know, know i gotta that. say i've never bought into that theory that different alcohols uh, give you different drunks i've fuck. never experienced that well, beer is the best drunk in my opinion would you agree uh Te no, I've been drinking tequila. Well, obviously, like health wise, I do believe that the 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 tequila is by far the best alcohol. You're a happy drunk. Tequila yeah. makes you go up. Vodka takes me down. Mm. I will go hectic and same with whiskey. I guess I've had some good nights. Adam Twenty Two's party last fall. I was drinking from eight thirty p.m. till six a.m. No drugs, no stimulants, no Red Bull, even just purely on tequila. Just, I felt light in the loafers. I think that, make, that, that actually means I'm gay, right? I believe so. That was the wrong know. expression. I apologize. You I felt energized. How many shots before you're gay? How many shots before you're gay? Okay. Mm -hmm. that we, we all know that that's an infinite number <laughs> and that I would have alcohol poisoning before I sucked a dick. How many shots before you double vag a, a chick with Adam 22? That's going to be about eight. Okay. Eight shots. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. With shots. Double, well. How do you feel as an Irishman that he has put his penis in another, in a vagina with another penis at the same time? Thought a is double. gay. Thank you. It Did kind you of. Each in the you eyes don't know what's what, dude. Oh, oh, too. Why are you pulling tequila shots? He keeps out of here. pulling alcohol. He's, this is amazing. It's a Take magic a tequila. Act. Take a tequila shot. Connell yeah, just. Going? He already showed up with a bunch of beer and with a flask of Jameson, and Leo, now he just pulled out. I'm going to warn you. Leo did text me saying tequila bring bottles beer and Irish whiskey. I said Irish whiskey too because for the fa for the fun. Of Leo, it you're all. taking that back. How was that Patron? Yeah, that was a nice tequila. This is hey, hey, this is the moment. I'm all of, right, thank you. Carl. It's the moment of truth. Okay. Once I take this, I'm a different man. Hey, Irish yeah. philosophy says that I mean, uh, all the answers right. lie at the bottom of a bottle, right, Leo? The bottom of a bottle. That's the only. I, the only time I can do kind of an Irish accent is when I say this. I go, "If you look far enough and deep enough, you can find all the answers at the bottom of a bottle." It's pretty good. Is it decent? That that acting college fucking thank you. Bro. I <laughs> trained a long time, so just know. Irish accents. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tough accent. Right, to be well, cheers, cheers. Can't come in her, come on her. Bam. <laughs> no. It is tough. How many accents are there? This might be the most boring thing we could possibly talk about, but I'm fascinated by the number of English accents. They really entertain me. Because there's it, within the Beatles, they all had different accents. And then I love Monty Python. And Monty Python will, in their sketches, play anybody from a plant worker who's from the industrial north to a very posh guy who's at a, a, like a cocktail party in London. And like uh, here in America, we basically have two major accents and then one sub accent. We have coastal, which is how we talk. Southern, which is more like this, yeah. the people you guys were hanging out with They're in Tennessee. Cool. And then some people talk like they just basically when your cheeks are stuffed full of ham and you haven't seen the sun in six months, you you talk like they do in Chicago. Oh, yeah, I haven't been around. Do a little many. bit of Chicago. I can't do Chicago. Milwaukee. Can't do either. 
That where, where it sounds Canadian almost? A little bit, yeah. I can't yeah, do I it. I hate that, dude. I fucking hate those fuckers. There's a little bit of that going you, on. You hate the Canadians? Yeah, the Canadians are a bunch Why? of pussies, dude. Yeah, well, let's yeah. talk about English accents, though. How many are there? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Like, a lot, though, zoom, right? Zoom. Every... They're pretty much changed on it, the streets. It's, the, it's the size of Nevada, and they have like 18 accents. Yeah, so really, many. Weird. How big is the UK compared to the United States? Like, which states is it the size of? Well, I know that... Austin, Ireland, look that up. England, and France is like the same size or still smaller than Missouri. Yeah, you know, we... Yeah. Is that true? I don't know if that's true. The U.S. is big, dude. We're fucking better and shit, you know what I mean? But it, it is what Yeah, it you is. guys should move here or kill yourselves. <laughs> Let's see. The U.K. size compared like to the U.S. states. I like to live in America for a bit, you know. 40 times before. smaller than the U.S., nice. So you're like a little bigger than yeah. one of our states. Yeah, so I'm right. There are... Well, we that doesn't include France and shit, too. Yeah, but Google... Put it all together. Okay, so this those are the states that can fit the UK inside of it. And you guys have that many accents. What's the population of Ireland? We're looking at basically the entire million. West Coast. Just a couple million? I think so. Basically the entire the West Coast. There's 250. The, so the, the capital of the north of Ireland is Belfast, and there's 250,000 people in it. That's it. Vegas has like 700,000. Yeah, 100%. Here, yeah. Vegas is going to be great. We're going to Vegas in a few days. You're going to love it. Can't wait to go. Are you going this weekend uh, Weekend or midweek? Uh, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's Do you want to come? Great time to come. Maybe I'll go. You should come. Maybe I'll go. We're going to go. Yeah, the best it. time to drink Donnie, is when it's on. unexpected, Leo. You should go. Come yeah, on. He's, Donnie, he's, he's, got, he's a straight arrow, dude. He is like a studious nerd. If you think of him as an Indian man behind a computer. But Susu, what is this? When did this transition? Were you always knuckling down, rocking hard, or did you rock and roll? I've always hard. been very, I'm like a firefighter. I'm <laughs> on and then I'm off, which is, that's how they, they work. It's firefighters. Are, are you here. all or nothing? Pretty much. Oh, dude. If he, if you go out, uh, dude, if there's a night where you go out chasing some pussy with this guy, it's, he, <laughs> yeah. he won't well, stop. You're not doing that because you've got a girlfriend. You're right. But he yeah. won't stop. You know, I won't I mean? stop till the job's done. <laughs> this, he won't stop, start, dude. How, like how much are we not stopping? Cause it's starting to sound he won't all stop, Yeah, dude, it's, it is. Is, this like, is this like Charles Manson won't no, stop or like, the no, I am not breaking into houses in Brentwood, stabbing people in the stomach. He does. So it doesn't go that far. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I do just wake up in a pool Pretty sure I seen you in Brentwood the other night breaking into houses shady yeah. as fuck dude but uh yeah when i'm partying it's usually set aside on my calendar because alcohol i just i feel like shit when i drink i think it's something with me genetically like leo i'm pretty sure can shrug off a hangover a lot better than me something about it i'm like an asian girl i take some vitamins poorly. yeah i got b vitamins before you go to bed that's all you need to do boys and we girls. did it we did a bit of boozing the overnight in the comedy club yeah we did fantastic show by the way thank you sir Would recommend it for that. any Irish or english people it's, it's possible what about be... americans well, I'm sure they're already there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they came out to our uh, stand-up show last Wednesday, mm -hmm. and it was a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite yeah. shows we've done. It's a great show. Leo gives free hand jobs under the table. He does I do that. It's I fantastic in between shoes. I am. It, I have a lot of sir. People serve me when I come to go to comedy mm -hmm. shows. It's crazy how that works. But. Donnie just watches. He does. Do. do you ever get involved? The hand jobs? Yeah. Well, there's a story. I won't just Adam twenty two. So tell us about. I was asking Cottle about this too the European capitals and what they offer in terms of women. Because mm -hmm. there's probably some guys listening right now that are thinking about where to study abroad this summer. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you that the best chicks are, according to Connell, in Amsterdam, right? Well, obviously, English girls, number one. Why is that? What do you mean? I, are you getting I, some I, nice this, booties? This, yeah, well. We got to go to the UK, dude. I'm, I'm, yeah, clearly we do. We got to go to UK. Hey, we got to go to Ireland with this guy, dude. Yeah. I say we well, go. Uh, you don't want to chase the English girls who are number one? Yeah, we I'll find them in them. Ireland. I find all my English girls. I might find a wife Ireland. in Ireland, though, huh? Like a nice yeah. fucking. We can live next door to each other. That'd be nice. Just dude. be like, just go down to a local pub. My money will go a long way in Ireland? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, what that, what can you fair. get with like uh, 200? <clears throat> what can you get with like 350,000 American right now? Is that your exact net worth? That's not my exact net it, worth. You haven't paid no. your car bill yet. So that's that's gonna be, not my And then you got to pay the guy with the incinerator in Glendale because he killed somebody. Because he killed somebody. It's, it's pe peasant money, is what I'm going to give it those, to those guys. Um, yeah. What do you. 350,000 yeah. net worth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is his well, network. That's not my network. How many, <laughs> how many, how many Guinness it's more than can we that, get there? But what? Guinness is about four pounds, which is like six dollars divided. That's by way better than fucking. Yeah, it's expensive. Twelve dollars down the street. I yeah. like how Connell just go. You ask him how much things cost, and he just goes right to Guinness pints. Well, well I think he's talking you, about real estate, maybe. But. Irish people only know alcohol, and Guinness pints is a is a good <laughs> measure. Get yeah. you a couple pints in yeah. a shot of Jameson. 
It would get you a lock in. Well, can, I, can I get It'll some, get you a good uh, lawyer for when you hit your wife. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> we don't do that. We love our women back oh, yeah. home. Yeah, there's as totally. As long as they don't leave the kitchen. And we all, I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> just say, we all know stereotypes hold no water. It's sarcasm. They're, they're usually true. Okay, so. Well, well let's get into American stereotypes. Then, don't what are they? Are violent. Uh, well, school shooting is a big thing. Well, obviously that happens a lot, but it's publicized a lot. But you know what? I'm, I'm down to deal with a couple of school shooties if I got this beautiful weather and, uh, you know, beautiful women. <laughs> a couple of school shooties. Mm, Leo, yeah. when you say it like that, you make it seem almost glamorous. It is glamorous, <laughs> you're but it's it. something to read, isn't it, Danny? It's it's something to read oh, about. Oh, when you're on the John in the morning? Or I mean, yeah. you're on the John in the morning, I want to know this guy's age, race, gender. Yeah. What his manifesto what said? Yeah. And the manifesto is, oh, come on. White the supremacist or anti-Semite? What is he? Come on. Well, it's it's the same thing. Thing. Right. But the now that now they have the transgender shooters, like the last There's a couple three. of them. Wait, yeah. the last three? three. I thought, I thought I, it was I that. Austin's got those stats, of course. Of course. I know there was the one in Tennessee, I believe, the one who was like the one they wouldn't release the manifesto, which was fucking shady and bullshit. And then there was the one who shot up the gay club and then claimed to be non-binary. What's the third one, Austin? Catholic school. There was another Maybe. one where I think it was like this Latino guy girl thing. <laughs> that like it's a school shooter school. you can talk abuse and then them. just like two weeks ago there was another trans this one was male to female that went on like a stabbing spree i think at a church it's every wow. okay so the one uh, the there's a couple of uh, common denominators with school shooters is one thing is they don't get pussy incels right and then yep. number two is that's the camera guy and number two austin you want to go get him and then mm -hmm. number two or yeah get him that'd be great man thanks yeah, thank you your English uh, slave. He's a nice man. Nah, ben, ben keeps me on track. Ben is, you know, your, your ben is here to make sure I don't fucking burn shit. He's on. a good guy. We, we tried to go to the Rainbow yesterday for dinner. Ooh. And uh, there was some sort of... Basically, there were a bunch of 50-year-old goths there. And we had to leave because it was so crowded. So we went to Saddle Ranch. And... Uh, that's a lovely dinner. It's basically the end of the, end of the story. Because, yeah, we had, we had a lovely dinner and nothing exciting happened. But well, still, was, you, you liked the waitress. I did. She there was, was a high was, waitress. She was pretty, as you said. Was she flirting with anyone? Yeah, no. Well, Danny started like salivating and staring yeah, at her, yeah, mouth yeah, open. I did. She started saying, like, if you don't leave, we're going to call the cops and stuff. Of course. And, and then the cops showed up. Yeah. And I, like, I took a swing at one of them. Yeah, I get and then I jumped it. over the dumpster and, and then you said, my dad's a judge and got out of everything. Exactly. God damn it. Exactly. Yeah. Donnie Why said, does that work for you every time? I'm just a trust fund kid. How do you let me let, get let, let me hear the uh, the delivery of the dad's a judge line? Fucking pig! My dad's a judge. Oh and shit! And his tax bill pays your salary. Fucking, oh. Is your dad a judge? Yeah, yeah. Be. Being a judge He's is retired. I know in England, I'm being guys, serious. There's a lot of ceremony to it. They have to wear a wig. They get a gavel. Yeah. it's a bigger deal in England. Why do you guys have the, 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 the well? You wouldn't know this, but the English wearing the wigs. I, in, man, in I used court, to be a lawyer. Yeah, so you knew it was up. So, uh, Dude, he got, like, I, chased out of his firm for politically incorrect comments, which is pretty legendary. Wow, that's dope. Yeah. 